In this video, we're going to take a look at the skeletal editor that is uh, launching in or supposedly be launching in Unreal Engine 5.3. I was able to build 5.3 from the source code. Um, if you're interested in that, honestly, it's not that hard. You're going to need a lot of uh, you're going to need a lot of disk space, but uh, I'll post. I did a, a, a great video on how to do it. Trust me, it's not that hard. Um, I'll post the link in the description or below or in the comments or something like that. Check it out. Uh, you will need a lot of space. Uh, but in this video, we're going to take a look at the skeletal ed editor. Um, let's take a look at uh, some of the notes or the description from the Unreal Engine 5.3 roadmap. The skeletal, the skeletal editor enables users to create skeletons and edit mesh skins directly within the Unreal Engine editor, which is great. This tool offers fast iterations by allowing the addition of bones to your assets, as well as deformation of static meshes, converting them to static meshes, skeletal meshes. Oh, OK. So you can convert a skeletal mesh to a static mesh all in one place without the need for importing skeletal data. That's amazing. Convert static meshes to skeletal meshes. Look, I'm looking at the bullet points. Create and edit skeletons, add bones, remove bones, orient and edit bones, mirror bones, create skin weights, paint weight, brush tool, edit weights on vertex selection, flood, relax, prune, average, normalize operations, mirror weights, paint weights, uh, paint maps and Python API support for bones. All right. So let's just get into it. Now what you see, this is Unreal Engine 5.3. Uh, this is not even at beta at this point. So just be just as just a reminder, this may not even uh, make it into the actual final version of 5.3. But as you can see, uh, this is 5.3 and I also have 5.2 open as well, just to show you that as well. It's Unreal Engine 5.2.1. And as you can see, the 5.2.1 says project delete and 5.3 says uh, UE 5.3. underscore So the first thing that you're going to do is uh, obviously you're probably you're going to need to go to plugins, edit plugins, and then you're going to have to type in you're going to have to enable uh, this plugin. And uh, once you enable this uh, skeletal mesh editing tools, you're going to have to restart. So let's just take a quick look at 5.2 and just see the difference. I'm going to open up this simple uh, mannequin, Manny. And as you can see, um, I have it enabled, enabled here. Here uh, it's called uh, modeling tools in 5.5 and 5.2. And in 5.3, they changed it to editing tools. Uh, so let's just take out the, let's just look at the user interface over here. It's under a tab, uh, skeletal mesh modeling. And as you can see, it says edit mesh ops, deform and skin. And over here in 5.3, as you can see, it's uh, um, the user interface is uh, a lot more cleaner and simpler. So you have skeleton, skin, deform, model and mesh. So mesh ops has turned into mesh edit, I believe has been turned into model. Yes. The form is the form skin is skin. And what's new is the skeleton. So I'm going to click skeleton and click edit skeleton. I'm not going to get real. I'm not going to dive too deep into this because uh, there's a lot here. Uh, but as you can see, uh, actions, add edit. So from what I can tell to edit, you can't write. Yeah, I just moved that. Um, let me cancel that. Try this again. From what I can tell, um, to edit, to add a bone, you have to come over here and I guess select another bone and click new bone or use control N. So in this menu, new bone, remove bone, unparent bone, rename bone. So I'm going to rename this bone. Okay. Let's add a new bone. And for whatever, whatever reason it goes down here, I guess, due to the hierarchy or whatever. So as you can see right there, there's a new bone. Where's that? So it's, it's named a joint and you can move that. And as you can see, all right. So add, uh, so in the add menu, we have mirror under options. You can, uh, there's mirror options, mirror axis. 
mirror rotation, left string, right string, uh, mirror child. So that's under mirror orient. Okay. So as you can see, it just automatically went over there. Okay. Or auto. And then there's the orient options, primary, secondary. Okay. Secondary target. Under details, you can change the name. Transform, obviously. Rotation scale, update children, and viewport axis settings, which is axis, axis length and thickness. You can also edit, go to the edit menu, and you can edit these bones right here. Is that this? Oh, that was under edit. So under add, um, this is the add menu. Uh, we have project, projection type. Within that, we have camera projection, on mesh, within mesh, name, transform and viewport access settings. So I'm going to cancel that. So there you go. 